Hey, uh, welcome. Grab a seat anywhere. No, we don't have any menus. The only thing we have today is the freedom to express who you truly are. We call it Authenticity Radio. You'll like it, don't worry. Let me go grab the host. He's got the hospitality of a fat and jolly innkeeper. (laughs) He's a good guy. Slade Suter. Hello and welcome to you. This is Slade Suter, and today's program we're going to talk about giving yourself some space and even allowing yourself to go down. And that's what I hope, my hope is, that I'm able to successfully communicate today about the ups and downs and how important it is to allow yourself to go down as well as up, okay? Because it can take many shapes and forms. You have uh, psychological, emotional, spiritual, physical ups and downs. And if you take a look, just pause for a moment, and you look at your own life, you can see these patterns, ups and downs, ups and downs. What may not be so clear is how you're allowing the down periods or fighting them, you know, because, and that, and that's why I'm talking today, and it could be just me. However, I don't think so. I think many of us have a, a tendency of fighting and resisting going down. And it's kind of interesting when we take a look at today's society. There's an external um, expectation around the world, particularly in the West, where you're always expected to be at your best, to be on, to be creative, to be productive, which makes me, as a person, want to try to stay up, always be productive, always to be in control, and um, always having my creativity at my fingertips, which, for me, it doesn't happen. How about you in your life? Are you one of these people that are always on, always in control, always productive? Are you a perfect person? Or are you a human person? Because a human person is subjected for growth, and a perfect person is not. They will remain that way, and they will remain stagnant until they admit that they're no longer perfect, of course. Now, going on a down cycle is more allowing yourself to go on a down cycle. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. First of all, a down cycle can mean many things to many people, many different things to many people. And what it means to me is it brings you into a place where you create the space that you can experience what you are truly feeling, okay? And that is not grasping onto particular emotions and holding on to them. It's just allowing yourself to feel what you're feeling. So going on a down cycle means that you are willing, that you're consciously choosing to open yourself up to experience the emotions that you are feeling. You're not grasping on to and holding on to an emotion. You're just feeling what's there. And you're being present to your feelings. You're being present to yourself. In short, you're being authentically true to yourself. And, uh, and an image I have is, is uh, when you allow yourself to go into a down cycle, there's a receptive quality to it. Instead of being in control, you're out of control. So being on an up cycle means, I don't know, let's give this a couple, let's play with this a little bit. You're kind of like a teacher. And going in down to a down cycle, you're a student. Okay, you're there to learn. All right? And let's say you go up in an up cycle. Let's imagine you're a parent. When you go down to a down cycle, you're a child. Again, you're there to learn. You're there to experience. You're there to feel what there is to experience, what there is to feel. 
okay? Because it, it, it seems so often, and men are very capable of, the, of this, is blocking our emotions, not feeling anything, choosing to block ourselves because we don't want to face it, certain things in our lives, you know? So, so this is, um, I also believe that allowing yourself to go down and down cycle gives you the ability to feel for others, empathy. Well, there you go. Okay, so you just you you can see the necessity of going down because uh, for me, and, and I'm going to say this in a very blanket statement: going down is regenerative. It regenerates us in some way, shape, and form. Okay, so that's our premise. That's where we want to go. That's where I want to go. I want to set that out right away because here's the thought. If I don't allow myself to go through the down cycles, I am cheating myself and everyone around me for the up cycle. Listen to this. Let's go ahead and take a look at our most known cycle, our daily cycle, 24 hours. Okay. In the book, uh, Get Off Your High Horse and Walk, I wrote about a bathtub full of energy. Well, inside this bathtub, if you can imagine it full of energy, that's the vital life-giving energy that we have to work with on a daily basis. So when you sleep, and if you sleep well, this bathtub will be fairly full. And as you get up and you start your day and you make decisions on what you do, you use this energy through the day. Uh, psychological, uh, emotional, spiritual, physical, it's all the same energy. And toward the end of the day, this bathtub is somewhat depleted. And then you go back to sleep, and you rest well, and you wake up, and then you start again. The cycle begins again. So what happens when you deprive yourself from going through a down cycle? In this case, sleep. Depriving yourself of a night's sleep. How are you the next day? Are you creative? Do you have good humor? How is your problem solving skills? Or are you like me, a crispy piece of bacon <laughs> needing to needing to go to sleep? Well, that's it. If you if I was with you the next day, I guarantee you I would not be at my best. I would be there to some degree, but you wouldn't find me fully present there, would you? And there, there's a key, isn't there? Presence, okay? So my present to you is for me to be present to you. And your present to me is for you to be present to me. So anything that takes away my presence would be depriving you and depriving myself as well. You know, so this down cycle was very important for us to go through in order for us to be there, period. And the second part uh, that I wanted you just to take a look at is, have you ever tried, um, quote, unquote, tried to put yourself to sleep? Okay, let's go to sleep. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, sleep now. Let's go. Come on, one more time. Uh, sleep. <laughs> uh, sleeping has what? It's kind of a surrendering quality to it. Letting go. I guess what? Uh, I guess that's why they say to fall asleep. And so this down cycle has to do with letting go and releasing yourself. And here's what I'm suggesting. To allow yourself, to permit yourself to fall into, without any resistance, into the low cycles. For example, if you feel sad, then give yourself the permission and allow yourself to feel the emotion, sadness. Don't hold on to it because the difference is you are not sad you are experiencing sadness. Just feel it. That's it. Nothing more. 
allow yourself to go through and to experience what it is that you are already experiencing. So in other words, you're just being present to your emotions. You're honoring them by feeling them. Last week, I was walking uh, through some vineyards. And I've walked several times uh, through these vineyards through the winter time. And this particular time caught my attention because there were literally millions of small little green leaves on the top of all of these grapevines reaching up toward the sun. And it, it was breathtaking. Matter of fact, I'm going to post this picture uh, next to this broadcast uh, so you'll see it uh, for yourself. It was this that caught me in this idea of, oh my God, well, this is possible because of the slumber it just went through. This whole dormant period, which was winter, now we're moving into spring. Well, it needed this winter for this new life cycle to happen. And what can we learn from when we observe these cycles in nature? A surrendering into a desert time or a, or a desert experience. What I'm suggesting is in a very healthy way to allow these ups and downs to happen. To find that striking balance about who we are. Because our balanced self is our authentic self. And that's where I would like to leave you today. So go up and down and stay present all the way because downtime gives way to a real uptime up and down round and round this is Slade Suter until next time be authentic be true and be free some people cry the blue I never could Ah, refreshing and transparent. This is Authenticity Radio.